Miriam ran to tell Yaffa's mother, Fegula. And she said, you must be crazy. Something happened to you. Who's going to kill us? Why? Yaffa's father chose caution. He asked the Russians for protection. A Soviet captain slept in the house with another soldier stationed outside. Late that night, Miriam and others heard the sharp clack of army boots. Members of the Polish Home Army were headed for the Sonnensen's house. Then grenades, rifle shots, and the sobbing cries of Moshe Sonnensen. And I heard screaming. So I got out, and there was Moshe screaming. They killed my Fagela. They killed my Fagela. Yaffa was a witness to her mother's death. This is her first time back in 53 years. Oh my gosh. Look at the stairs. This is the door. Oh my gosh. Well, I was downstairs sleeping in the bedroom and uh, suddenly there was a bang and uh, a grenade came in through the window but my brother Itzhak pulled me out from the bed and we ran upstairs here and my father said we should go in here and he opened this door and he said to my mother Fegele, you will sit with the baby in the front. So my father pushed the piece of furniture and he got in and with his hand pulled it. You see, it was much lower. The, the, this entrance was lower than it is now, the door. And he pushed it against this and he pulled and he closed the, wind, the door from the inside. And he sat, he sat at the very edge and my mother was here in the front. He, she, he felt that with the baby in her arms, she needs the most space. And therefore, he was there. And we heard them suddenly, and the steps made a noise, and we heard them come and come and come closer, and we heard them walk here and walk in the other room, and they were walking around, and we heard them opening and pushing here and pushing furniture around. And then one of them said, there is a scratch on the floor. And he followed the scratch and he said, it's with the piece of furniture that was put here. And he moved the furniture to this side. He moved it here to this side. And pushed the door open and my mother walked out with the baby in her arms. And I was just in back of her. I could see their legs, three people, and there were the Buak sons, the two of them. They, and he immediately shot my mother, and she fell here. My father crawled and picked up my mother's body from me and moved her on this side of the threshold. But somehow the baby was not in her arms. The baby fell on this side. He was not in her arms, but her arm was bended like this but the baby was not in her arms. And, and right on this spot, right here, right here, was a puddle of blood. And there was another one. I think it was my baby, Machaim's, because my mother's blood was here. And on what I was wearing, and my father, moved her body 
and I came out, and Itzhak came out, and my father moved the body to the side and picked up the baby and put him back in my mother's arms. It took little time. Put him back. And my mother's face looked very quiet. And my father, he said, I want you to know my Nikinde. I want you to know my children. I want you to know all the people that I will not go to my grave till I will find the killers of my wife. And I will make sure that I will be punished. I will dedicate my life. He said, look, we were the only family for Meishi Shok who survived. And he looked to heaven and said to God, God, who be staying where were you? But they finished the last family in Aishishok. Where were you, God? Who missed the event, God? Who's been still? Where are you?